Switches, push buttons, and other electronics with LEDs can add a really cool appearance to a simulator and can also help us identify which instruments or lights are on or active in dark environments. In this video, I will show you how to wire these up properly, but I do recommend that you view my previous videos on basic flight simulator components and interface cards so you understand the basics. Videos like these can be of great help when building your own cockpit, so please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. As can be seen in this image, 12 volts is a requirement for the LEDs to function properly. Interface cards, such as Leo Botner cards and Arduinos, when connected through USB ports, use 5 volts. So we have to find a way to power the LEDs with 12 volts, but prevent this higher voltage from reaching the interface cards, which could potentially damage them. In this example, I will wire these switches and push buttons to a Leo Botner BBI-32 card. Here is a list of the devices we will be working with. A Leo Bodner BBI-32 card. A 5-pin single-pole dual-throw 12-volt relay. Please make sure to always purchase high-quality components rated for continuous operation. A 12-volt power supply. Switches or push buttons with LEDs. Let's analyze the connections on this single-pole single-throw switch. Most of them will come with three terminals, positive, negative, and load which powers the component connected to this terminal when the switch is on. To isolate the 12 volts, we will wire this to a relay, which will then close or open two connections to the Leo Butner card. The final product will be a switch that produces two separate actions in the simulator. Before we get to the wiring, let's understand what the relay is doing. We will be using the contacts labeled normally open and normally closed. Normally open means that this side of the relay is not active when there is no power. But when the switch activates and allows the 12 volts to power the relay, a coil inside the relay moves the COM connection to the other side and activates the normally open connection. The wiring is as follows. First, we connect the power supply to the negative and positive terminals on the switch. We then connect the C1 pin on the relay to the negative terminal on the switch and the C2 pin to the low terminal on the switch. The COM pin on the relay goes to the ground connection on the Leo Butner card. We then connect the normally open to B1 and normally closed to B2 or vice versa. Please note, if you would like just one action in the simulator or a simple on-off button, just remove the connection to the normally open pin. Go ahead and apply power and test. You now have a fully working LED switch or push button that will send two actions to your simulator. For example, gear up and gear down. If you wish to add more switches or push buttons, add another relay per switch and use the rest of the inputs on the Leo Butner card. If you want to make the wiring easier, check out the relay kits with built-in terminal blocks. I have placed all the useful links in the video's description. Thanks again for watching and if you found this useful please share, also hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.